Hello everyone, it's Matsi back here with another RPG in a Box tutorial, Chapter 2 of our effort to make a foreign prince simulator game. Today we're going to learn about interactions, both with objects and characters, as well as how to move between maps in RPG in a Box. Also, before I forget, go to RPGinabox.com, go to the download link, and download the free demo. This gives you all the functionality you need to follow along with these tutorials. Let's talk a little bit more about the game theme, Foreign Prince Simulator. It goes something like this. You are a foreign prince in a far off kingdom. Your mother, the queen, comes to you one day and she is distraught. It turns out your uncle, the baron, has died and his estate that includes millions of money was left to a distant relative. Imagine this is akin to one of those famous email scams, but in this case, it's true. In your quest, you will send a letter to this relative and they will, rightly so, be skeptical. This leaves you, the prince, required to journey to a far off land to bestow all the money to the relative. Now that we know the backstory, we'll need to learn some more basics in map scripting so we can build the story out. Here we go. Let's make some things we can interact with on the map. We'll make a treasure chest to open and a dialogue for the goblin we placed last time. Click the object tab, click the chest, and add it to the map. You'll notice the navigation disappears around the chest. This is because the chest is impassable, so it removed the surrounding navigation. Now we need to interact with the object. Click the connect tool or press F3 on your keyboard. Notice how these tools show a shortcut key when hovering over them. Clever tools, very clever. Let's take a look at the navigation types tool window. There are four different types of navigation. Green allows the player to walk to a spot and interact with objects on that spot. Yellow only allows player movement to a spot. They will not be able to interact from the connecting line. Orange is interact only, meaning the player can activate a script on an object, but they cannot walk to that spot. Finally, purple is a placeholder navigation line. The player cannot walk or interact. This can be used for more advanced scripting concepts later on. Click the orange box for interact only and then draw a line from a space in front of the chest to the chest. Now click the edit tool or press F2 and click on the chest. Over in the tool section, we now see a tab called entity properties. Click the tab and see all the things. We aren't going into all the details right now, but again, read the docs and search for entity to learn more about the settings. For now, click the scripts tab, which is used to trigger the script for this object. You'll see two additional settings. Trigger event indicates the selected script will run when the player interacts. Script setting lets you select a script to run when the player interacts. RPG in a box lets you select an existing script or make a quick script. Let's keep it simple with a quick script. Notice there's already some code provided to display a message. Since we're here to learn, let's change the message. Click the edit pencil next to the box site code. We get a new window that lets you edit this code just like the script editor. Notice on the left we have all the available logic and commands as a regular script editor. In the middle is where we edit our script. Let's change the message to something a chest might say and then click validate to make sure the code is valid, then click OK. Click save or press Ctrl S on your keyboard to save the map and test it out in quick play. Once the game loads, click the chest with your mouse or walk up to the chest and press the space bar to interact to see the message. Great, we have a working chest. Now let's talk to the goblin we added in the previous video. Make sure the edit tool is selected and then click on the goblin. Notice that instead of a script section, we have a behavior settings section. These settings allow us to define various actions for the character. For now, we'll focus just on when player interacts. This has many different options, which we'll learn about later. While we could define a simple script, let's learn a little bit about dialogues while we're here. Select Start Dialogue. Notice we currently don't have a dialogue to use, so let's create one. While we could click on the Dialogue Editor to create a new dialogue, let's show a different way. On the Game Explorer on the left, right-click on the folder Dialogues and do New Dialogue. We'll name this one Goblin, because it's a goblin. We are presented with different options, which we'll learn about later. Click NPC, since this goblin is a non-playable character. You will be presented with a simple dialog box to enter a message. Enter your message and press Save or Control S on your keyboard. Now click back on the Sample Map tab. 
Your goblin should still be selected from before. Go back to the dialog option and select your dialog. Now save your map and test it again. As with the chest, you can talk to the goblin by clicking on them or by walking up with the arrow keys and pressing the spacebar. Now pat yourself on the back. You have a way to interact with objects and characters on our map. Okay, lightning round time. It can't be an adventure if you don't have anywhere to adventure. So we need a new map we can adventure to. Two. <laughs> two, two. <laughs> Click new resource and create a new map, which we'll call sample two. Make the map real quick using all your new skills and save it. Select the edit tool and left click the tile you want the player to enter and exit from on the map. This must be a single tile. Now click the tab on your original map and here's where the magic happens. Right click on a tile you want the player to enter or exit from. Select link with map, then select your new map. Voila, our RPG in the box automatically creates a quick script with a load map function linking both your maps together. Oh baby, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, it's great. This is amazing. Uh, <clears throat> now save both of your maps and then let's run the game. Click on the chest. Ah, look, what a lovely chest-like message. Click the goblin. Don't worry, it won't be goblin you today because it's the goblin. Check the edge of the map where you made the map link and the magic will happen. Woohoo! We have two maps. We can go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Good enough for programming work, am I right? And there we have it, folks. Now we know how to interact with chests, with characters, and to move between the maps. In the next videos, we'll be looking at building out our world a little more to align with the theme of our game. Stop by and visit me at twitch.tv slash motsimakes to learn more about what we're working on. Check out the description below for links to other useful resources for RPG in a Box development. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Is that weird? Probably it's weird. I think it's weird. Ooh, woo. <laughs> And back and forth, and back and forth. Oh, baby. And back and forth, and back and forth. Probably don't put the oh, baby in there.